Alright guys, so we're back here with this Hanarex Polo that I fixed in the video previous to this one on the channel. If you haven't seen that, I suggest go watching that. But at the tail end there, when we, when we were checking this out and testing and making sure everything was okay, we found out that we had no brightness control. It was like very minuscule. You turn it all the way up and down, you basically have nothing except for just the tiniest little sliver of brightness control at the very end of the, of the range. And then after it was on for a few minutes, I lost that and the brightness control did absolutely nothing. So I changed out the remote board and the harness with another chassis to rule that out. It was all fine. So I went through the entire brightness control circuit and found the problem. It was a bad capacitor. It was this guy right here. But I want to show this in operation, then we'll go over in detail what the solution was. But you can see here on the brightness control, if I turn this up, we now have full brightness control. All the way down, all the way up, all the way down. All the way up so turn it down to about there turn our contrast up a bit and there we go glorious beautiful hanorex polo in operation and now 100 percent uh, good to go so it was kind of eating away at me that they had i had no brightness control and that video previous to this one was already like an hour and 20 minutes so i didn't want to really dive too much into that one i knew i'd tackle this on a separate video so yeah now the brightness control is absolutely 100 percent operational all the way down all the way up down, up, down, up. So it ended up being a bad cap right next to the flyback. So if we trace out the circuit, it comes through the uh, harness and it goes through a resistor right over here. I think it's R240. Then it goes through uh, three resistors over here by the flyback. Then it goes through a couple of capacitors. One of those capacitors was bad. So let's get uh, this taken off and flipped around and I'll show you exactly what the problem was. All right, so let's talk about this no brightness control solutions. So norm normally you would imagine that if you had no brightness control or contrast, it'd be a problem with the pot or an issue with that or the remote board or the wiring harness or the interconnect here. Well, that was not the case in this instance. In this instance, we had a bad component. We had a bad capacitor. So this brightness circuit is very simple. Uh, it comes through the pot from the, I'm sorry, goes through the harness from the pot to the interconnect. Then it runs around here through to R239, which is down in here by the flyback. And then it runs over here to R240, which is this little resistor right here, not this one. This little resistor under underneath this bigger one, that's R240. Then it runs back through around here to through R232 and R233. And then it also runs through this capacitor right here. Now this capacitor right here is uh, C176. C176 is in direct uh, connection with the brightness circuit. And it resides right in here. Uh, it's hard to see. But normally right here, right here. This is where the capacitor normally resides. So we have this capacitor down in here, that white one right there, and then C176 resides right there. And it's directly in line with R232 and R233 and R240 and R239. So this is all part, this is one last component. So there's basically just five components in the brightness circuit, and then it runs off to the uh, neck board. But, uh, neck board? Uh, yeah, it runs off to the neck board, I think, from that point through other various components. But the main five components there is R239, which I think is that guy right there, R240, which is over here, this guy. R232 and R233 are these two right there. And then this capacitor right there, which was here, are the five main components in the brightness circuit. So I was just doing some, some testing on all those resistors, and all those resistors checked okay. But when I checked this capacitor, R1, I'm sorry, I keep saying R, C176. C176 is not supposed to have any resistance across it. It's a capacitor. It shouldn't have any resistance across it. Just checking it with a meter in ohms mode, you shouldn't get any reading. But we get, come on. There we go, 257k ohm. <laughs> That's not supposed to read anything. I should have an open on this. If I should be reading in the mega ohm, if not in open completely. So we have a, a capacitor that's got re high resistance on it, and this is what was killing our brightness control. So C176 faulty. I went ahead and grabbed one off a donor chassis. Now it's a different style. I just put it on the bottom for uh, 
demonstration purposes, I'm going to take it back off. I put it on here for quick testing. You know, when I found this one was reading faulty, I put the replacement on the bottom and you saw we had perfect, complete brightness control. So now I'm going to take this one off, put it back on the top, uh, which may be easier said than done because it's, I could leave it, I could leave it right here and it would never be an issue, but it's not supposed to be there. So let's take that off of there and we'll go open these holes back up again. And I still need to go through and clean all the flux off of this from fixing it in the previous video. So before you get all, before you get your uh, britches and hitches, if you will, don't worry, I'll take care of it. Okay. So now let's see if we can get this installed in here and we can add this to the parts pile. So if you're watching this one without the previous one, this thing was totally dead and we had some exploded filter caps here. There's one, there's the other. We had a bunch of other caps that were bad. This one was leaking and this one is bulging. Um, we had a bad TH-102, which is this guy here that was had an open winding. Uh, we had a bad resistor. I think it was R-235 or 325, something down in here. So lots of problems with this, uh, but it turned out to be all of those issues. So, and another, and a bad capacitor. So lots of problems on this one, but we got it figured out. Let's get this guy down in here. Should be able to just reach this through and seat it in place. Uh, come on. I got one leg in there. You put your one leg in, you put your one leg out. Put your other leg in and your capacitor's falling out. Uh, can I see through? Nope, I got some blockage still. Ah, that's why, you stupid dummy. I didn't clean that pad out. Okay, now that's gonna go in nice and easy. He says as he struggles with the most difficult thing he's ever had to do. Come on, you bastard. You dirty, rotten bastard. Man, I've never had to do something so difficult in all my life. I'm about to have to just cut away, <laughs> come back when it's in, because uh, this guy is not happy. I'm telling you. Now you know why I just put it on the bottom real quick. George is getting frustrated. Let's make sure it actually lines up. That might be a good idea. Oh, I see. We're going to have to get some of this off of here. There we go. Hey, there we go. Now, just don't fall out of there, you dirty, rotten scoundrel. <laughs> he says, as he says it, it falls out. All right. Okay, now we should be good to go, and we got a fully working, perfectly operational 25-inch Hanrex Polo. Now, let's give it one more test, since we have installed it properly. 
and we'll call this good. Uh, nice, quick, easy video in stark contrast to the uh, last couple of videos on the channel where we were over an hour, almost an hour and a half, I think, on one of them. So let's uh, get this on the functional tube. If you don't know what I mean, what I mean by functional tube, go watch the video previous to this one. So, all right, let's see. Okay, all hooked back up, and if we look in there, we can see the capacitor installed right where it's supposed to be. And, um, haven't turned it on yet. Let's see what happens here. One, two, three. Okay, comes right on. And, I need to clean my lens. And it works. Okay, brightness control. Yep, all the way up, all the way down. All the way up, all the way down. You really don't get that much brightness uh, adjustment on the Polo, but uh, yeah, you can see we got, there we go, all the way up, all the way down, up, down, so good to go. Contrast down a bit, brightness up to right about there. And oh, I'm gonna have to acknowledge this. There we go, and did it in, beautiful, all right. Crystal clear. Love these polo tubes uh, when they work, <laughs> as opposed to the one that came with this chassis. So there we go, all fixed. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks a lot. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.